An eastern Iowa man will now spend the rest of his life in prison. 20-year-old Taj Ra shot and killed 19-year-old Latasha Roundtree back in 2012 as she was heading to a party in Cedar Rapids. CBS 2 News reporter Jason Hackett has more on an emotional day in courts and how we got there. It's been two years since Latasha Roundtree was killed on her way to a party. Tonight, her family is saying they could finally find some closure. I direct that the defendant's custody be placed with the director of Department of Corrections for the remainder of his life without the possibility of parole. Every end. I heard the first gunshot. Neil started to scream. You're not, you're not you heard the gunshot. Kill Latasha Roundtree. Has a beginning. That beginning was the night of September 22nd, 2012. Taj Ross was at a party with friends, a party that received threats. I was just telling Brandon, why did you do that? Because I just seen like but instead of running, the court says Taj armed himself. That's when he saw the car with Roundtree approach 649 16th Avenue Southwest. Your gun, you pulled the trigger, you fired, and now Latasha Roundtree's dead, right? Weeks of evidence, testimony, and witnesses Somebody said that they're shoot up the house. led to a guilty verdict. Friday brought a final appeal from the defense. The evidence as it was submitted, the facts as stated, are not sufficient enough. A sentence from the judge. The ultimate act of uh, violence that one could commit. And an opportunity for Ross to apologize. I have a lot of time to think that my actions were stupid and strong. I just want to ask that the family please forgive me. I don't know right now. I'm just going through a lot of emotions right now. I can't really say if I do or I don't. One of those emotions for Reggie Williams is relief that the long journey to find his daughter's killer is over. It was finally over with. I, I can move on with my life. My kids can move on with their lives. And as Latasha's family reaches their end, a life behind bars for Ross is just beginning. It ain't going to be easy for him. Not at all. In addition to that first-degree murder charge, Ross was also sentenced to 10 years for intimidation with a dangerous weapon and five years for going armed with intent. Those will run concurrently. Jason Hackett, CBS2 News.